Matty Matty. Matty Matty. Guys, it's been quite a while since the picture was posted on Facebook, so I don't know how many people saw it or how many people have uh, come to take the pink plants, but let's hope, fingers crossed, that there's at least one left for me. <laughs> I see them! They're here! They're here! Yay! Oh, there's hardly any left compared to what they were yesterday. But that's okay. I'll get what I can. That one's so cool. Oh, that one's epic. Okay. Oh my god, is that what I think it is? Oh, I've been looking for one of these. Look, how cool is this? Do you like it? A Sauron's eyeball succulent. Doesn't it look like the eye of Sauron? Yeah, it does. It's really cool. Zartraka eye. Zartraka shoe. My thrifted shoes have betrayed me. Oh my god. I didn't think I was meant to wear socks with these. <laughs> Sorry, Dan, can you say that again? I wasn't recording. This is a disappointment. <laughs> this is shocking. <laughs> well, I thrifted it, so it's only fitting that I wear it for thriftmas. Cheers to my new plants. What are you doing, mate? Can I help you? This is a magpie, for anyone that doesn't know. Sneaky little buggers. So we have our little box of plants in the back here, the precious babies. And uh, now we're gonna head to the nearest Vinnie's, which is actually just directly down the road. Uh, you come out of the Eden Garden Center, you go left down Lane Cove Road, and there's a Vinnie's just like five minutes down the road. So I was thinking, Dan, what we could do. So when I posted my Lamoda video, I, at the end of that video, I asked Dan to pick out some outfits for me to match the shoes. And there were so many comments saying like, Dan is so good at styling you. They were very, very impressed. So. So I thought what we could do, we could duck into the Vinnies. Time to lower the expectations. I believe in you. Right, so you. we can go in there and you can pick out maybe like three or four outfits. I'll, mm. I'll give you some time. I will go peruse the homewares and I'll give you some time to uh, look through outfits and find some things. So maybe put together three complete outfits. Don't worry about shoes or anything, but just like whether it's a dress or like a top and skirt or whatever, put together three outfits and I'll go into the change rooms and try them on and uh, people can say which one they like the most. Blisters are so bad from my thrifted shoes that my poor husband has to give me his socks. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> and it's raining. <laughs> and it's raining and wet. It's so stylish. It's called fashion. Look it up. <laughs> Alrighty, Vinny's open on a Sunday. Not many op shops are open on a Sunday. Why are there cups in a planter pot? Nanny. Go, go, go. They're making it easy for you. Look, it does, doesn't get much easier than that. Okay, let's go with that one. No, no, it's just cheating. Eight piece set, it's a pumpkin. He lift him up, he's got a ladle. Oh, he's got a whole bunch of little soup bowls. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Oh God, put them back down, put them back. I hate them. Oh, thank you.
like a pipe. Yeah. Oh, but it looks like um, a, a grievous. A general grievous skirt. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> that is ruined the look. <laughs> he looked really nice. Alex? No. Just try on these pets. Look at that. It's like he just walked into like a ball of fabric and rolled it out. Guys, this is too hard to Dog! Dog! Hello! Good boy. Next. I'm not done posing, thank you very much. Yeah. I think your bum looks really nice. <laughs> Jedi scum. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the droid you're looking for. <laughs> Hello. We're heading to uh, the uh, Vinnie's at Epping right now so we can have a, another go at it because we're going out for dinner tonight and I'd like to find a, a good outfit to wear and as much as we like the white dress with like little balls on it, the weather right now, as much as it's supposed to be warm because it's summer, all of a sudden it's freezing cold today and it's raining so that dress is not going to be warm enough. So we're going to go have a look at the Epping Vinnie's now and uh, then we'll go home and I'll show you what we picked up. Ah, 
What's wrong with it? No, I didn't really like it. Oh. Do you like it? Not really. Not really, no. no. <laughs> Did you know what this was? No. <laughs> you picked it? No, I just saw it. There's <laughs> straps everywhere. Like... <laughs> what do you think? That's kind of cool. Here, go, give me a runway. I love it. It's so weird. I love it. You rock in that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. That's really cute. It's alright? It's alright. You know, can you find something with long sleeves and pants? Just like find some pants and long sleeves for me, please. Or a dress with long sleeves or something. I am so cold. <laughs> Look, I have goosebumps. What have you got? What on earth? No, no questions. Is this a modern red sparrow? <laughs> it's kind of cool. You know, I actually really like the top. Oh, do you? The top is so cool. I just spent all that time asking Dan to find warmer clothes for me because I was really, really cold. And uh, it's stopped raining now and we've come out of the store and it's so hot. It's so hot and so humid. All right, so we're back from shopping and I will show you guys what we got. It's all behind me here. But the first thing that I want to do is actually dye my hair pink. Yes, I know, completely unrelated to thrifting. But yesterday I got my hair sort of slightly redone at the roots and I got it toned but it kind of went blue and like I'm personally really, really sick of it and I want a little bit of warmth brought back into my face. So I'm gonna get Dan to help me put on some pink and then while it's sort of setting, we can have a look at what we bought. I'm gonna give this color a try. This is one of the pink colors that I used in my 16 different pink hair dyes video. This is like a, it really is basically this color. It's like rose gold. I don't know how it's gonna go over the top of this grayish, greenish blue. I really hope that it looks okay. I hope it doesn't look more purple than pink. I just, I want pink hair again so bad. So, uh, all right, let's give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna try something that could be a good idea or could be a very, very, very bad idea. We'll find out soon. I have this conditioner. This is called John Freder Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Lightening Conditioner. Now, obviously I, I wanted to go blonder, but I ended up going blue. So maybe if I combine the hair color with this Go Blonder conditioner. Maybe it'll slightly lighten my hair, condition it, and make it pink at the same time. Let's find out. Oh, look, the forbidden strawberry jam and cream. All right guys, hair is happening and I don't have um, very high hopes for it because as we were kind of combing it through, it really didn't take in certain places. So there's every possibility that later, maybe tomorrow or something, I might need to go back over the top with a different product. But look, we'll just leave this baking and while, while it cooks on my head, I'm gonna show you some of the homewares that I bought because while Dan was picking out clothes for me, I couldn't help but buy some more vases. Uh, we will safely keep the bird right here where he cannot eat the plants. First thing I got, this is a humidifier. It was $3. Uh, if you remember the episode where I was talking about decorating my guest bedroom, one of the things I listed was a humidifier. I really didn't like my chances of finding a humidifier at a thrift store, 
but I did. I don't believe it. And it's actually quite a nice looking one too. It's meant to look like timber. Uh, so it's got a little charging point on it, but I don't actually know how to make this work. It didn't come with any cables. It looks like a fairly standard charging port though. It's just got like one little prong in the center. And I do have some appliances that have that sort of fitting. So I'll have to try and dig them up and find them and see if I can make this work. I've never used a humidifier before. I've got no idea what I'm meant to do. I guess I just unscrew it somehow. Aha! Uh -huh. What? Imagine if this wasn't a humidifier. Imagine if it was like an air freshener or something. Anyway, I think you put water in there. You screw that in. There's a little power symbol right here. So I guess I just would tap that after I plug it in and charge it. I'm assuming it's wireless, but maybe it's not. Maybe it needs to be plugged in to work. Anyway, can you guys just, if anyone knows how to use this, if anyone knows this particular model, please just leave some instructions for me down below because this is going to keep my plants very, very happy, hopefully, if it works. I couldn't help myself. I had to buy this picture frame. This is so cute. It's actually pink velvet, so it's a little tiny bit shiny and it's got these really nice gold details and little pearls on it too. It's even got little gold leaves on it here. This was just four bucks, which is absolutely... Oh, when I saw it was $4, I was like, how could I not buy that? This was my least favorite. I still really like it, but of the vases that I bought, it was my least favorite. This was $20. This is a hand-blown glass. It has the big frilly rim on it at the top, and then it kind of goes between green and orange, and it's actually, wow, it's literally just like Archie. Look, it's even the same color as your beak. Look, Archie. This is, oh, this is an Archie vase. This one, look, it's even archy green. I didn't plan for that to happen, my friend, but it did. So look, this can be your Christmas present. I also found these two vases. These are the daisy footed vases. And if you guys watched my uh, thrift shopping at the biggest antique store in Sydney video, then you might remember that I was spotting these all over that store and they went anywhere from about 40 to $80 each, probably depending on where they're made and how old they are. These were $12 each. Now, I'm not buying things because I'm worried about the value of them and how much I could resell them for or anything. I'm not planning on reselling anything, but it's just good to know. It's like, well, like this could be worth, you know, 50 bucks, 80 bucks, whatever, and I got it for 12. So that's pretty good. These are really unique. They've got, again, the really interesting sort of lip on them at the top. They've got the really nice chunky daisy feet. And this was so cute. This was $5. And this is a little vintage pink glass plate. This is really interesting because it's textured on the back. These are actually spiky. They're really rough to touch, super, super spiky. And then obviously when you flip it over, it's a nice smooth glass on this side. And I got this as like a little dish to sit underneath some of my plants. So when I'm watering them, it can collect the water and it doesn't damage the shelf that it's sitting on. So $5 may be a little bit much for it, but I'm pretty sure this is vintage glass and it looks lovely. Look, chew on this, don't chew on me. Actually, no, don't chew on glass, that's terrible. I was so surprised that I got this for $5. This is a little glass bowl and it's, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Look at the shape of it. It's, it's a really nice sort of rounded shape and it's got like a little bit of a lip on it here. And for me, this is maybe like a candy bowl or I suppose I could put your food in there too, Archie. Oh, you like it too. Oh, you really like it. See, as much as I would love to feed Archie out of something like this, Archie is notorious for yeeting his bowl halfway across the room if he's dissatisfied with his vegetables. And uh, I don't really want him throwing glass bowls on the ground. All right, this next one is one of my coolest finds yet. This is a glass shell vase. Look how incredible this is. Even Archie can recognize how glorious it is. Look how cautiously he's looking at it. Isn't it special? Oh, what a sweet bird. See? Yes, Archie, it's special, yes. So at the lip of this one, it's purple and it's actually like an ombre right down here. It sort of fades from purple into a completely clear glass here. It's got little feet on it as well so it can stand upright like, oh bless you. So it'll stand upright like this. And obviously you can put flowers inside, use it as a vase. This is, oh, look, at, I just could not believe that I found this in there. It was $35 and at first I was like, oh, I really like it, but that's too much to pay for that. But the longer that I looked at it sitting up on that shelf, I was like, that's special, it's special to me. Don't you think, Archie? Yes, Archie, that's right, special. And the last piece of homeware that I got was this pastel 
glass bowl. This is, oh my God, look how beautiful this is. It's blue, green, and pink, and it's got that beautiful sort of swirly pattern that you guys know I love. It's frilly. Oh, what? Okay, do I use this as a fruit bowl? Do I use it for my keys? Do I use it for succulents? No, no, it's too special for that. Fruit bowl, maybe? Yeah, maybe a fruit bowl. This is probably one of my favorite thrift finds. I can't believe, like, not only is it the glass that I love, but it's also pastel colored. Like, it's just absolutely stunning. And if you even try and throw this on the ground, you will be in so much trouble. All right, that's it as far as the homewares go. The only other thing I have to show you now are the plants and the clothes that Daniel picked. Now, not everyone's interested in plants, so I'll put a timestamp down below that you can skip ahead to for the clothes. But for those of you that are interested, let me go put Archie away because he will try and eat them for lunch. Plant number one. I don't know exactly what type of caladium this is because it doesn't say. It just says caladium assorted. So this one has really beautiful kind of rich red leaves like this. They sort of start off as like a neon pink in the center and then they go to like a, a almost like a blood red on the outside. This one is a uh, pink in the middle and then it goes out into green. Don't know which type of caladium this is either, but I'm very excited about this one because this one has two little leaves down here that haven't yet sort of unfolded and I really love watching them as they grow. So this has a couple of beautiful big leaves that look like dragon scales and it's, oh my God, it's just absolutely stunning. I love it. Finally got my hands on one of these. These are the coolest plants. They don't even look real. Like it looks like something that someone's drawn. It looks almost like neon and like it's glowing from within. This is a jewel orchid and uh, it actually says on here, it's rare. And uh, I know it's rare because I've been literally looking everywhere for one of these and I haven't been able to get my hands on one. So that was a nice surprise to find this today. This is so cool. Finally got a variegated chain of hearts. I've got a standard chain of hearts, but this guy, this guy is a, uh, Oh, look how long he is. Really excited about this. This is a uh, red Luna Peperomia. The leaves, oh, look at them. They're so beautiful. They're like this rich kind of red color and I love how textured they are. I have another Caladium. This one is huge. Look how big it is. Look at its beautiful leaves. Now, I don't know if this is the same type as some of the others I've picked up, but it's definitely just it's bigger. The leaves are much bigger. Oh, this is literally looks like a dragon. I'm gonna call him Smaug. That's it, his name is Smaug now. Now this one's obviously a different type again because this one has a black stem. I've never seen a plant like this with a black stem. It's so cool to me. And the leaves on this one, they're red on the inside and then they actually go to this like mossy green color on the outside. Look, isn't it awesome? Finally got myself an Alocasia Red Secret. Every time that I've seen these in the past, they've been $90. This one was 40, so still quite expensive, but much cheaper than any that I've seen anywhere else. This is just a beautiful leaf. They're like really thick and super shiny and beautiful. And I'm so excited about this. I got this Monstera uh, Silta. Pecana, Monstera silt pecana. This, I love trailing plants. I just adore them. And these leaves are kind of like silvery. This is so cute. I love the silvery kind of shiny leaves. I'm really excited to see how long this one gets. I'm not sure where to put him, maybe near the window, but I don't really want to burn him. So any advice is welcome. And the last plant that I got is this one. This is my favorite by far. Look at the enormous leaf with the pastel pink in the middle going to a very light green. This is just beautiful. There's two really, really big leaves and there's another one sort of sprouting down here. This is the star of the show for me. I'm so excited. I've got to figure out where to put this in the room. I don't know whether I should have it right near the window or away from the window in indirect light. I've got to do a bit of research as to how to look after these, but so many things in this room are pink. So this is going to fit in really, really nicely in the plant room. All right, so that's the plant haul. I'm gonna go wash my hair out now, blow dry it, come back, and then we can try on some of the clothes that Dan picked out for me.
Guys, oh my god. Okay, are you ready for the big hair reveal? I must warn you in advance, it's obviously not as good as it would have been if I'd gone to see a professional, but... Oh, I'm so happy! Finally, pink again! Oh my god, it's been months and months and months since I was last pink. So it's a little bit patchy, but I don't, I don't even care because it's better than what I had before. So finally, I have a little bit of warmth brought back into my face. I felt very um, cold, like an ice queen when I had that sort of icy, bluish, blondy kind of hair. But now, pastel pink, not quite rose gold because it had that little bit of blue underneath it. So it's kind of almost turned purple in some ways, but what do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm so happy. So, Dan's actually fallen asleep on the couch because, you know, it's hard work shopping for your wife. So I'm gonna go wake him up, I'm gonna see what he thinks about my hair, and then we're gonna have a look at the clothes that he picked out for me. Then I'll pick something to wear out to dinner tonight and we'll head out. Ready? Three, two, one, look. Oh, it works so well. Yeah! Oh, wow. Do you like it? Yeah, it's really nice. What do you think, Archie? Do you really like nice. mummy's hair? What do you think? Is it like cotton candy? Yeah. We can eat it. <laughs> so Dan, just before we go, I want to show everyone the clothes that you picked out for me. So do you want to start grabbing them one by one? Oh, okay. I love this top so much. This is so cool. So this is from Bardo. Bardo is like a kind of fancy Australian brand. This is brand new with a tag. The tag says it was $100 and uh, we got it for 10 from Vinnie's. So I love the sleeves on this. This is so cool. Obviously you kind of got this as like a bit of a joke with that red outfit, right? Or did yeah. you actually mean to, to get this? Yeah, I was like, what is this? Like, when I picked it up, it was just like this string of fabric. I was like, what the hell is this? Dan, this top was literally the best thing you've ever found. It's so cool. I look like a bat. Look at my bat wings. <laughs> I love it. Good job. I paired it with this skirt that Michelle picked out for me in a Two, two days ago when we went out to the Salvos at Tempe. This skirt was like six bucks or something, I think. And uh, this top, how much did we say this was? Can you see the tag? Ten dollars. Ten dollars! Ten for this Bardo top. And this is a one hundred dollar top. Brand new with tags. Looks absolutely amazing. I love the sleeves. What do you think of this outfit? Does it look okay with the, the skirt and the boots? Yeah, maybe like stockings or something like that. Stockings! I got those stock- hang on. Um, yes, okay, so I also got these right when I was leaving. These were three dollars. I don't actually know what they look like. They're just called Sheer Madness Fashion Pantyhose. So let me give these a try. Madness. Stockings are on. They're really cool. Oh my god, they're so comfortable. I love them. Do you think I need to put this on with boots or should I- Oh, there are the black shoes that you got. These shoes are really cool. These are made in Italy. It says on the bottom, leather made in Italy. They were $30 and they seem basically brand new. I don't think anyone's ever worn them. So $30 for a, a pair of brand new leather Italian shoes. Totally fine by me. These are awesome. Like okay, what do you think? Does that look okay? It does. It looks better with the boots though. The boots, okay. Yeah. Oh, by the way, these boots were also thrifted. All right, done. Okay, what do you think? Is that better? Yeah, you should definitely wear those out to dinner. Wear it to dinner? Yeah, tonight. This is the dinner outfit? It is. We have successfully found our dinner outfit. The bat outfit. My friends aren't going to recognize me when I walk in because I'll have pink hair, new, and I'll be wearing all black. What Something else that's new. And I'll be looking like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good choice, Dan. You did an excellent job. This is another one that's brand new with the tag. Mm. The brand is called She Show. I don't know it, but it says the fashion choice of Vogue come from the life to come from the content. What? No, really. Sorry, what? Come again? The fashion choice of Vogue come from the life to come from the content. I don't, I don't know the brand She Show, but we got this for $8, which I think is like a steal. Also, yeah. the lady in the shop, I came out of the change room and she, was, she said to us, you have to buy that. You have to buy it. <laughs> I don't think I would have got it, but because she said so. I was like, okay, all right, I'll, I'll listen to the stranger. I won't listen to my husband when he says it looks good, but I'll listen to the stranger. <laughs> You're obliged to say nice things. Yeah. She's not. This is just the strangest thing ever. Um, did you think it was a dress when you picked it up? I had no idea. <laughs> I, had, like, I straight up had no idea. Stringy and strange. It was strange. just like loose string. I was like, <laughs> give it a go. And it, it turned out okay. There, there's not very much 
going on at the top here like not it's just kind of all hanging in there for dear life so you can't really move too much or else things are going to start freeing oh. themselves but i can finally wear these uh, really cool lamoto boots so i can try these on what is it Archie? Archie's looking at me funny yeah he's like why so tall i don't think he likes it <gasps> what's the matter don't you like it let me just give you guys like a bit of a catwalk You scared of the shoes, Archie? Oh, poor buddy. The shoes are off. See, Archie, everything's fine. Oh, everything's fine. Oh, we're happy again, are we? Those, those were big, scary shoes. Yeah, so I don't know how much wear I'm going to get out of this crazy jumpsuit, but people got angry with me. Not angry, but you know, I tried on this white jumpsuit a couple of episodes ago and I didn't buy it and people were like, Alex, you need that jumpsuit, but it was really, really sheer. So I'm happy that we found a black jumpsuit and also the legs are actually long enough that they go right down to my feet. Doesn't happen very often with clothing, so good job, Dan. I actually really like it. Oh, good. Dan picked out this. What was your logic behind buying this one? Oh, I can just imagine it. You could just imagine, okay, yeah, well. it's like an inbuilt necklace in it and it's really got a nice fade that complements your skin tones. Thanks, darling. Definitely makes me want to go on a holiday, I must say. Sometimes um, we go as a group away to Hamilton Island, which is a beautiful island here in, uh, up in Queensland. And we were supposed to be going there this Christmas, but obviously COVID cancelled everyone's holiday plans. But uh, this is uh, this is the sort of thing you just like want to wear around an island resort. It's really mm. nice. The only thing I don't like about it though, is like this kind of harsh line across here. It, I don't know, it just to me looks like a little bit awkward. What do you think, baby? You like mummy's dress? He likes mummy's dress. You like it? I do, I love it. Good choice, thank you. <laughs> it's very comfortable, also yeah. really good for this weather. You also picked out this. Bettina Liano, which is Gina Liano's sister. Gina Liano is one of the Real Housewives of Melbourne and Bettina Liano is her sister who's an Australian fashion designer. This was $12. So Bettina Liano is like a designer brand in Australia and quite expensive. So did you recognize the name Bettina Liano? Did that mean anything to you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I need to learn how to style this because I don't often wear short sleeved anything really. Like I don't really wear short sleeved cardigans, but it's, I think because it's grey, it's very versatile and also it's got nice pockets on it and I can't believe that you just picked out a designer brand without knowing that you did it, so good job, very good job. Thank you. And then the very last thing is something that I picked, um, Dan didn't pick this, but I spotted it right when we were leaving. This is by the brand Meshki, which a lot of YouTubers review Meshki, it's like one of those trendy Instagram brands. And this is brand new with the tag and uh, it says that it is the Reese Satin Blazer Mini Dress and it was $15. This would have been quite expensive new. All right, the only outfit that I picked, this uh, blazer dress, oh, hey, oh, hi. Sorry, you frightened the life out of me. People have actually been asking me to do a mesh key haul for ages, so now that I've tried this on, look, the first thing I'll say is it feels feels a little bit cheap, but I know it's expensive. I think they're one of those brands that they make really trendy looking clothes, but they kind of cut they cut back on costs with the materials and stuff, but they're trendy kind of styles, a bit like fashion over kind of thing. What do you think, Dan? Do you like it? I think it's too sexy for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it guys. I succeeded. You succeeded, I yes. Did. Thank did. you so much for watching. I think Dan did a very good job. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, three, there we go. They always come in three. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go out for dinner now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell too so you don't miss any episodes of Thriftmas. Yeah. And if you think Dan did a good job, oh. tell him down below and let us know which outfit was your favorite and which was your least favorite. <laughs> so with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Oh, oh, woo. <laughs>
Sauron is following us everywhere today.